Hey everyone, welcome back. In this trailer tutorial, we will understand some of the key features that are available once you sign up for Trello and how you can navigate and understand some of the features that are available on the sign up. Okay, so the first thing once you sign up will be asked for creating the workspace and workspace is nothing but say for example, a team within your organization. So a team will be managing their work so you can create a workspace and that will be a workspace assigned to a particular team. What I have done in the previous tutorial when while sign up I have created two teams and these I have named two workspaces and these I have named as teams so the team iOS and Android will manage their work within these workspaces so that's the first thing if you go to this left hand icon here you will see that you can switch directly from here to Jira, Confluence or Trello. And because I have signed up with this particular email for Jira and Confluence as well, and Trello is a product from Atlassian as well. So you can directly switch between the applications. Okay, so now we are on Trello. Then in the workspaces, you will see what all workspaces are being created in this particular account. In the recent, you will see any boards that have been created. So since we haven't created any board, then then it won't show any board. Now, managing work within the Trello is pretty simple. You create a workspace, which is a correlation to the team, and then teams create the board. And board is nothing but a simple, say, Scrum and Kanban board, if you're coming from a software development background, which will have the columns. And within those columns, you can create your tasks and see the work items on those on that board visually and see where those work items are. So we'll cover all of that, how you can create and customize the workflow and see on the board. But that's the second step. So this is what you'll see in the board. Then in the start, if you have starred any of the board, you can quickly access them. Create is the button, which you'll find very similar to what you will see in the other Atlassian products, right? So you can create a board, start with a template, or create a workspace or create a business workspace, which is a premium feature, but you can create a workspace directly from here. You can create a board so workspace say for example you want to create a new team or you want to create a new workspace for a team within the project you create a workspace from here okay then in the right hand side to search you can search the cards and things like that from here directly this is more of a information this is for the help the notification that you can get and you will get the desktop notification if you allow desktop notification as well similarly in the right hand side to change any of your personal account settings you go to this icon here and you can go to the profile and visibility activity card settings etc okay so if i go to profile and visibility you will see all the details about my profile so if you are logged in or you have been invited you go to your profile setting you will be able to change the username the bio etc the activity basically you will you'll see what all workspaces are there any activity that has happened the cards will be displayed here and then the settings you can go to settings and change the settings there so there are a lot of options around the settings you can change the account detail the language uh, notification frequency etc suggestions so all of that if you go through the settings you will be able to understand what all options can you do the another good thing is you can configure two-step verification right so to keep your account more secure you can enable that as well okay you can also download the personal data so that's about the profile and visibility in the activity it will show you all the activity cards and settings so this is what we have covered right you will get the help if you click on this help shortcuts if i go to shortcuts you can see all the shortcuts that you can utilize on the trello will be available here to navigate the cards back you can simply utilize these shortcuts and become sort of a pro in using trello okay so there are a lot of options here but we'll cover them into a separate tutorial so this is a brief about what you will see on the Trello sign up and how you can navigate through those details. So once I go to the Trello icon here, the home, then I can switch between the workspaces. So at the moment, if you'll see, I am in the iOS uh, stream, right? So this is the iOS space and here I can work with the workspace. So if I have to edit the workspace detail, I'll click on edit icon and I'll specify the website. So for example, I'll say what is the website for this particular space and then the name short name I can update here and the description save it 
and then you can use the templates direct templates out of the drop down okay so because this is the engineering project that we created so this is what we selected and now there are kanban template sprint retrospective and other templates that are relevant for the software development you can browse the full template gallery from here in the workspace table this is premium feature so it won't be available for the free it is in the members you can invite the team members okay so let's go ahead and invite the team members so i have created some of the emails and will simply copy the team members email and invite those members so paste the email address or drop in the email address for the members of the team that are part of this ios team and simply invite to workspace okay so you'll see that all of the members have been invited and they haven't been confirmed okay so you can remove the invitation from here or you can invite workspace more workspace members there okay so at the moment you'll see the members are six if you go to settings you will see all the workspace settings that you can do so workspace visibility if you'll see at the moment it is private what this means is that this workspace is private and it cannot be indexed or view viewed by anyone else outside this workspace so whosoever is the member that has been invited and the person who is managing this workspace will be able to view this workspace if it is a private you can change it to public if I if you click on this change this public workspace will be the workspace which is available to anyone who has access to this link okay so it will show up in the search engine in, on the google and only those who are invited to the workspace will be able to add and edit but it will be able uh, it will be visible to everyone so if you want a workspace to be public and want it to be visible to everyone then you can change it to public i'll keep it as private because i do not want everyone else to view my workspace but this is an option which i'll you know cover in some other workspace okay the other one maybe we can change the next thing is you you have this you know other upgrade to premium options that you will get a notification do not worry about that and then upgrade workspace is where again the premium they'll ask for the premium upgrade so we do not want to do it at the moment all right so this is about the workspace and the brief introduction of all the features that are available there and within the workspace the next thing is how you can plan your work within the workspace so to plan your work within the workspace the team will start with creation of the board and they'll start planning their work okay so that's what will come next and it's that easy to start planning your work and doing the work within trello so with just 20 30 minutes of your time you can sign up you can create a workspace invite everyone who is part of that team and then create a board and start planning your work so in the next tutorial i'll cover creation of the board within the workspace and assigning the work and starting the work for your project so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching